Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Revlon Waiver. I've been using this waiver for over 10 years and I love it so much. It's great for two-day hair, it's great for everyday hair, and it's such an easy thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the tutorial from start to finish on how to achieve this really fun, beachy look. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we're going to separate your hair into two pieces. So go ahead and do that. I just used an old claw clip that I've had for forever and go ahead and put your hair up. Okay, like I said a while ago, this crimper is from, oh my goodness, it's from high school, not college. So it is old. It is um, the Revlon Waiver. I love this thing. It was $20 then, it's still $20 now. Um, you can buy it on Amazon, I'll put the link below. But this is what it looks like. I know it looks massive and I know it looks a little intimidating, but I promise it's super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use it. Um, when you separate your hair, you're just going to go ahead like you are curling it and just grab one little piece, hold down. So, so easy. And then you're just going to keep scooting down your hair. The nice thing with, with this crimper is that you can either have um, really, really, really kinky hair if you push down really hard or not. If you see like the bottom part of this, I push down a little harder than I did on the top and you can see the wave difference. But all you do is this all around your head. So it's really super simple. It's a great way to wear your hair if you are on like day two of not washing your hair. Easy and it's different and um, it looks good on everyone. So go ahead and just crimp around your hair, just like this. And it's okay if it's not perfect because it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be beach waves, so don't feel like it has to be exactly perfect. And again, I'm a fan of not pushing down super hard on the crimper because the waves are a little tight, but I live in Florida, so the waves will fall out in a minute um, and be pretty loose the rest of the day. If you're using a dry texture spray, I'd highly recommend trying one. Um, for me, since I have super fine hair, I don't have much texture and like the curl will fall right out or the wave will fall right out. So I'd highly recommend it. I use Kenra Dry Texture Spray and number six and it's a miracle worker. And what I'll do is after I finish crimping that entire layer, as you see, again, it's not perfect. I just went through, just ran the crimper through. I'll just take the dry texture spray and kind of just spray it. I'm gonna do this with each layer too. That way I know that each layer is actually getting the texture. Now I'm just go ahead and make another layer. I'm gonna take it from the side. So from here, I'm gonna do the same thing all around. Okay, second layer's done. Super quick, just ran the crimper through. Again, some places aren't as crimped as others, so I'm just gonna go through really quickly and touch those up. But don't worry about it being perfect. Now that I'm done with that second layer, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did with the first and just spray it with the texture spray to give it some texture. So this last layer is kind of the important one because of the way it's gonna lay on your face. So I like to take this piece and just make sure it looks really nice. Um, I will pay a little bit more attention than I do on the rest. I'm gonna separate this into two pieces instead of one. Again, I just think it's more important because I have more hair on this side since my hair is parted on this side. I'm gonna do it separately. Now I'm gonna take this top part of my hair and I'm gonna split it into two pieces again. I'm going to take the back piece first and go ahead and crimp that up. I just feel like it's easier that way. Okay, we're almost done. Told you guys, this is like the easiest hairstyle of all time. You like don't have to do it perfect, doesn't have to be the perfect wave, doesn't have to be the perfect curl. It's really nice. Or the perfect blowout. It's for when you want the info. Okay, so I just finished that top layer, and now again I'm gonna add some styling to it. 
Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first use the dry texture spray again, and then I would take some hairspray and just run the hairspray over some key pieces. I'm also using Kenra hairspray. I'm using number 25. This is amazing. It's a super hold finishing spray. It's like the easiest hairstyle of all time. Just spray your hair and you're ready to go. Great for everyday wear, for two day hair, and every other day. Oh. Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use Look, with the Revlon crimper, well, I think it's called the waiver. Hi everyone. What's happening to me? <laughs> 